Hey everyone, Jens is flying high here with the next episode of Teen Area Combos. Um, how are you today? Um, basically, as you can tell, that the new video that I have right here for the Teen Area Combos got changed up a bit. Uh, Give it a more simplified look right there, so it's not like all like um, all like a ghetto look that I ha have in the previous videos. But uh, yeah. yeah, so yeah. Basically, we're going to talk about various different topics, mainly Dragon Ball Fighters Balance Patch, Space Blue Cross Tag Battle that got that uh, the beta got like uh, happened a couple weeks ago, uh, happened like last week or so. Um, then we're going to talk about re-uploaders in the fighting game community and other games, and if they were a problem or not. We're going to talk about some other fighting game news, but right now, um, I am flying high, and I'm one of your hosts, where, along with Jenko Man. He's the other host here. Hey, what's up, guys? It's good to be back as always. And tonight's guest is going to be War Destroyer. Hey, what's going on, guys? Thank you for having me. Uh, then we had Don Khan. How you doing? Thanks for having me. Yes. And then we're hey, gonna, time, man. Yep. And then we're going to have Crimson Viper for life, which he's going to join in later on, most likely, if he's able to come. Yeah. Okay, and uh, let's go right to it right now. Uh, basically, uh, on... Main knife, we got a unexpected balance patch because we weren't expecting it this soon for Dragon Ball Fighters, which had various uh, buffs and nerfs and bug fixes of various characters. And it says it actually was pretty interesting what we got because most of the very things that they describe in the balance patch was vague, besides a couple things here and there. Because how they said it right there, meaning that like they, they said it in a weird way that something something sounded like like we couldn't get what they were saying because how the things were like uh, like fix of something to like uh, something like that we didn't know what it did it was a bug fix most likely while other things was like very very straight out like uh, Android sixteen losses hard knockdown off his uh, <laughs> man grab which is like fucking amazing so pretty really big deal very big deal so basically what got changed is that couple got top tiers got nerfed a bit the vegeta assist got changed a bit and a couple low tier characters got changed a bit not too much uh but other characters got touched no, not touched at all like uh cell besides like a bug fix what's um yeah, so let's talk talk about the changes right here. The mid the 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 one the biggest change that got was Andrew sixteen launching his hard knockdown on his command grab. Mm -hmm. which, which is his biggest thing because that is what a very big thing that he has a meaningless knockdown, hard knockdown which allows him to get free mix ups off of like a basic any basically any combo. Which in this game is extremely freaking good. That's because it forces you to block, or it forces uh -huh. you to guess and slash block at the same time. Yeah, 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 guess like a fifty-fifty, you know. Yeah, this this move that you talk about, I'm I'm a, I'm admittedly not well versed in Dragon Balls, but this move that you're talking about that caused the knockdown. What type of move is it? What is it? Was it a grab move? Was it a special like a hit it's, move? It is a command grab that you can combo into. Got it. So. I'm thinking they're they're doing more of like the SPD where it's not supposed to be a mix up. It's supposed to be high damage. So mm -hmm. what kind of damage does this move do? Did they change the damage? No, no, no. It's it's not it's not a high damage move with it. It's a, it's a command grab that you can combo into. It's uh it's it's uh, it's something that allows um, it gives him an ender so that he can do super afterwards. But when they visit a program the mood, they uh like like they like real they realize that it also like, caused a hard knockdown and because how Android sixteen's mix up all way, he can freaking do a an instant cross up uh instant cross up right there or a empty jump low or basically mm -hmm. a high low mix up or command grab but right that he has multiple mix ups off a by meaningless knockdown where most of these characters do not get that move at all where they have to spend meter for a knockdown. So that's yeah, so, nuts. Yeah, yeah, so I'm a 16 player, and uh, basically what you would do is when you end your combo, you'd take them mid-screen, and once you finished with that command grab, you would have the option of high-low, left-right, or command grab. So there's like five different things that you have to re guess, basically, right? So 
uh, pretty unfair. I'm definitely going to miss it, but uh, <laughs> I think it's justified. Yeah, it is. Yep. Yeah. Now, now, uh, like basically, that can't change. So now that you can actually take out of it, so that means that you can be in the air, so that it's very hard for the Android 16 player to mix you up. So that's basically good. That means that like he lost his uh, free mix-up capabilities. The, the other thing to get like nerfed a bit that his uh, standing heavy cannot go through projectiles now. He uh, his hand standing heavy loses projectiles. So now you don't see him by fucking like uh, like just tanking a beam right there and like and like stand edging you from half across the screen right there. That's not that's not gonna be a thing. What was it was it going through projectiles or just took damage from the projectiles? Because no, I think it takes it, damage from the projectiles. But basically, now. that thing had like hyper armor so that. No matter what, after he pressed it right there, it fucking like tanked everything that he did unless that thing killed him. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, so, yeah, basically, it was a welcome change to that, that he can't freaking derp you out with that stand heavy move. Mm -hmm. So, so is this is this something that was kind of generally recognized as OP? The command grab, yes. The stand heavy was just, uh, the stand heavy thing right there with, against beams with it was just stupid but not annoying. The, the, the mix up that he got was the fucking problem with him, his, his character. That got was, it. So they, so they pretty much just kind of aligned him. Like, no other character has this kind of like option to put you in this kind of wake up like that. So they just kind of normalized him. Yeah, basically there was a couple of characters that actually had meaningless knockdown things, and most of the characters that had those meaningless knockdowns. Got rid of, uh, they basically got rid of them. Only a couple characters have Meteor's Knockdowns now. You know, Meteor's Knockdown is uh, not, it's not uh, evolving an auto combo. Got it. Yeah, and, and to be fair, I, even pre patch, I don't think 16 was the best in the game. I would put give that to Adult Gohan. Yeah, most yeah. definitely. Yeah, yeah, 16 was like a top 5 cat, though. Like, before, you know. Yeah, but people would just complain about him because he was very easy to use while Adult Gohan was a lot harder to use. So people that's Abigail. Like, <laughs> yeah, Abigail from Street Fighter Five. True, true. That's this, yeah. So other other characters that changed, Adult Gohan got changed. He had he has a has a couple of nerfs. Like he he lost his hard knockdown to where he Basically, uh, on his overhead punch thing, that and if you've done a combo, you can take out of it now, so that you can, uh, you know, jump away from it. And two, his ex legs, his ex legs, there's a gap in it now, so that you can figure, uh, you it's not a true black screen anymore. So that that's you, good. So that you can actually reflect it, or you can two eights it, depending on what you. Uh, Depending on what you do, but it is freaking hella freaking safe. Uh, he, he's still hella plus on it, so that you can't really press buttons afterwards. But now he can't freaking do that super fucking long block string that you they can normally do. Sounds think... like you sounds like he went from great to good. Yes, yes. I think he's still one of the best. Probably OP to great. Who knows? He's probably OP to great. Yeah, he's probably OP to great. Yeah, so uh -huh. he's still he's still got pretty pretty damn good, but he's not like he's not like freaking uh like like freaking like destroying people with that. Okay, um, let's see. Uh, other characters got changed. Um, the main the main the other major character that got changed was Vegeta, Super Saiyan Vegeta, was his um the regular version of uh, Vegeta at the moment, which was his um assist got changed so that. Now you can reflect his assist while blocking, so that you oh. can, so now you can um, make it so that you can't. So it's not a full screen lockdown assist now anymore, because you can still you know get locked down, but now you can um, now it won't freaking screw you over by doing it. So this reflect can hit the opponent's main character, so it could actually be like dangerous for them if they, if they know it's coming. Uh, no, no, the the reflect, the reflect right there is basically something that it's like it's like a, a worse version of push block where it pushes the opponent away while reflecting it, and it's it's it's, it's a very hard to use uh, type of push block in the game. Got it. I got it. Okay. Because you can't you can't use it while blocking. You can, but besides the certain situations, if you read it right there, you can push the opponent away, and it will also like, reflect any projectiles coming at you. So. That's the main use, but it's very hard to properly use it because of that. 
Yeah, ha has to be used kind of preemptively. Okay. Yes, preemptively, yes. Hold on a second. I'm trying to find that. So there's a, a few nerfs. Is there any significant buffs that happened? Um, so it's... Frieza got buffed a little bit. I, I didn't notice anything significant with them, but I think Frieza got buffed. I forget what it was. Um, I'm not sure who else. Um, no, no, you know. I'm trying to look it up real quick. Before, oh, before we, we uh, I know he's looking up uh, some more uh, balance changes, but what do you think about the idea of this game, um, like, going to be evolving and changing as far as these patches? you think people are going to be affected by changing characters, changing play styles? Right. Mm, besides 16 players, I'd, I'd, like, I don't think there's any significant changes on who's the best in the character shift. Most people are keeping their same teams. A few yeah. people drop 16. No one dropped Vegeta. They just adjusted because it was, it was more of an adjustment in your timing with your combos and stuff and when you call mm -hmm. them. It wasn't like, oh, this isn't usable anymore. It's still very much usable. Still best assist in the game free. So yeah. it's just more just adapting. But yeah. I didn't see anybody drop Vegeta yet. Yeah, but basically the the Vindy's ear assist right now is obviously not used for lockdown right there. It's using the punishment being vanished right there and like for combo sentence now. Which also you can also like read your opponent too if they're gonna be flat and punish the hell out of them too. So he assist is not changed right there. It's a, it's not he his assist is not as stupid as before. That's that's the main major thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh let's see, other things got changed. Um Cullen's rock assist right there is gotten a lot better now. Well, now it tracks a lot easier and has a lot more hits than now. I don't know what's. Probably it's obviously Quillen is not like the best character in the game. He's actually one considered one of the worst characters in the game. But that is a like welcome a welcome thing in this game because now he doesn't throw a freaking senju bean each time he does it right there and get like um like at a time that you don't want a senju bean to fall out because you know your opponent takes it and he'll fall mm -hmm. back up. But now it's a like a good freaking mix up, uh, mix up assist. Has, not a lockdown assist, but get all lockdown assist like that, where you can use it right there in certain situations to lock your opponent down. It, it has a good hit stun on it, so that now you can actually combo it from a, for a short distance away, so that you can do it. It's actually pretty good. Alright, uh, that's good to hear. Yep. Uh, that says, okay, obviously, two other things got fixed, which is two uh, infinites that got removed. The Ginyu, but the Ginyu with Kumbug and the Android Twenty One's uh, S bug got fixed, so that they got rid of those like infinites that they can do. Because um, if your opponent, if you get hit by raw uh, with Kum Beamus Beam uh, Beam Beam Call or uh, Android's S move, it for some reason to like a uh, Fucks up the hit stun and basically makes it so that you can do an infinite combo over and over. Like a true infinite? Like a true infinite, yes. Yep. Yeah, that needs to go. Well, 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 oh, yeah, for sure, man. <laughs> well, well, they fixed it already, so. <laughs> they fixed it already, so. Yeah, that that was the like, other major, major fix for it. Um, now they. Um, now, um, another thing is that the pickle did get nerfed a bit, but that... Oh, it's super where he just sprays the balls out and you just have to eat a mix-up that you can't see? No, 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 no. It's basically an issue with the assist where you can't block depending on, uh, a, a, no matter what direction you're pulling while he's calling it when Piccolo uses his assist. Sorry, when uh, we're going to play it, calls Piccolo assist, there's certain situations that you, you cannot block Piccolo's assist, so you get hit by it. That's fixed, for one or no. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. That's it, so that's it. Yeah. Yeah, I always wonder how the, how this stuff gets into the coding. Like, how does how do you code something to where in certain situations it doesn't doesn't block? Because it's I mean it's, it's not it's, it's happened in several games, but I always find it funny that there's like these weird well, glitches. Well, because one thing, well, like no one like can test every situation possible. That's basically it. Like, yeah. No one can test every situation possible. That only happens when more tons of people all at once like like a uh, like a uh, try it out there and it like happens and they try to recreate it. That's basically it. So yeah, yeah. yeah leave it leave it to the FGC to find and exploit these things though. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, man. That's what's job, you know. <laughs> yep, true, true. 
Yeah, so that those are the major things. The other, other, all the other ones are the bug fixes that are basically not nothing too major besides that. The main, the major things that Android 16 Adult Gohan got nerfed, uh, Vegeta Sis got hit a bit, not too hard. Uh, Infinite got removed and bug fixes. Those are the major things got fixed right there. And it made Cell the best character in the game. Yes, <laughs> So no, uh, actually, it could be Cell or Kid Buu. Kid Buu is a very good character too. Like, like people are could be either one of those. That could be the best character in the game. Yeah, Kid Buu's so good. Just for his cheap and squirreliness, right? Like, there's yeah, they're yeah. they're two very different characters. Um, Cell's just spoiled. He has everything. Yep. He doesn't yeah. spend a lot of meter, but he's he's a spoiled princess. Yep. True. True. Okay. Um. Wait, what? Is that that uh, did the meta game get changed at all for the Dragon Ball Fighters? Um, a little bit. Basically, Ooh. you don't see a lot of Android 16 now. You see less adult Gohan now, but you now see a lot more Bardock. Oh, no, yeah, Bardock got this place. Bardock got changed a lot. Uh, you will see a lot more Kid Buu players. You probably see a lot more Cell players. So the ch the thing get changed a bit right there. Now I say now instead of saying uh. Enter 16, uh, Adult Gohan, and uh, Vegeta. Now you see like um, Bardock, um, Cell, Vegeta, or like like uh, Cell, Kid Buu, Vegeta. So you would, there is like the, the, it did get changed a bit with the with the pads and all that right there. But you also now see a lot more, a uh, lot less teams with Vegeta because obviously. You see, I mean, you see less teams with Vegeta right there because obviously people who only use Vegeta because of its like you know his stupid lockdown capabilities now can't use Vegeta because you know he lost that capability now. Mm -hmm. So obviously there's gonna be people that are still gonna main him, but basically you will probably see a little bit less Vegeta as Vegeta says now in the game. Yes, yeah, sounds like it's just, you just can't be as brain dead with it. Yep. You can not ain't about nope. Yep, can't. Okay, um, okay, eh. so basically, the characters that went down the tier list a bit was, would be freaking, um, Andrew 16, uh, Andrew 16, Cell, probably Vegeta, Vegeta a tiny bit, those are the two, three main characters that went down the tier list a bit. What I believe actually went up is Gotenks, Gotenks went up a bit in the tier list because he found out that his assist is actually pretty damn good and also he's a unique character with some good tools. He's definitely good. Bardock is a pretty good character that he's probably one of the high tier characters in the game. Yeah. Oh yeah. He's definitely yeah. I feel like that too. Yes, yes. Um, Kid Buu's assist is super good too. Yeah, that that just is... where it bounces around and you can mix them up and it's just super hard to block if they get you locked down right. Yeah, that That's is crazy. That is definitely true. That his assist is definitely damn good. So it's, yeah, the like, a lot of characters get out, and then and a couple other characters. The low tier mostly stayed low tier, like never really changed at all besides like Freezer, but Freezer still had like a lot of problems still at the moment. So yeah, it's definitely very very hard to actually uh, see who uh, like it's very hard to see what changed a bit with the low tiers at all because like like the low tiers didn't get changed much at all. Hmm. This wasn't a massive balance patch. I would say the next time they do a balance patch, you'd be fairly more significant, and you're going to see the characters tiers shift around quite a bit. I imagine they'll do something about this the crazy lockdown because it's insane. Like if people block strings are quite tight. You're blocking for like 20 seconds, and that makes for a not a fun time if you're the one just holding back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. True. True. Uh, yeah. It seems, it seems like this, uh, like these balance patches. I don't say knee jerk, but were the ones that were addressing just kind of the obvious OP stuff. Yep. Mm -hmm. You know, not not doesn't look like they were really uh, addressing like gameplay mechanics, more of just like tackling certain moves that were OP and just kind of normalizing them. It seemed more maintenance to me. That that is definitely true. I definitely do agree with that. Yeah. So basically, the Battle of the Pants was probably definitely underwhelming. Besides that, it had like some much needed freaking nerfs that needed to be fixed, which is Andrew 16 and Vegeta. Oh yeah, for sure. But like the other things, like the, some of the other characters that still have gotten touched, like Ked Buu or Cell, and probably Bardock, um, Barak, Barak should have gotten touched too. Because you know, obviously his freaking like his quarter circle four light uh, lariat move right there 
so freaking fast that it should not he should not be able to do that free at the beginning of the match and you can't do anything about it but unless you uh you know unless you have a, like a parry move or something like that or reflected on reaction or something like that oh i mean for ball duck yeah 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 ball duck right yeah. Oh, he took adult go hands place. Like he locks you down forever. And the sneaky thing with him is that he he looks like when he's doing the block strings, it looks slow. So you're like, oh, I'm gonna punish this. Oh no, I'm just gonna eat a combo instead. So it's it's rough. It's hard out here. Like I went to a local tournament here about a week. Uh, no, it's probably about a month ago now. And uh, and there's 32 man bracket, and I would say probably 30 percent of them had Bardock on the team. Like he oh, was wow. just super. <laughs> oh yeah, like it was just point Bardock. He run he runs a muck and uh, it's you, you stop him you win but if you don't then you're just eating those block strings. Yep. <laughs> okay. Um. So, would it be anything yes. you want to? Okay. If you if you want if there's anything you want to fix about this game out there balance match wise if you had an option to fix something what's what you would fix? Says no no sale. <laughs> says says. Uh, sorry, sorry. Uh, there's actually a couple of things I want. I actually wanted to fix right there. I like. I wanted to fix super dashing so that it's not broken right there. Make mm -hmm. make vanish or thing. You know, but basically just raw vanish. Uh, not safe on block, depending on the hive. That like because like vanish like uh, that move should not be safe on block. Uh, it should And, I'm, and I'm, on a block string, do like try to send your block string. I would say that'd be fine. But raw vanish right there, or like or projectile vanish, should not be plus on block. It should, yeah, be, like, it should be like punish. Yeah. Yeah. Should be like negative. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, so well, you know what though? To be fair, like you can't use it too willy nilly because it does cost meter, right? So we are yeah. spending meter on it. You shouldn't. I don't think it punishable would be. I think that'd be the next extreme, but like where it does cost meter to begin with, using it raw is just poor gameplay at that point, right? Like, I mean, you, you do use it sometimes to get out of the corner and stuff like that, and hopefully they don't counter vanish to put you back in. But um, you're not going to use you're only going to be able to use it raw seven times in a row if you have full stack, and that's usually not the case. True, true, but freaking hell, wait, that's using vanish right there, and your opponent blocks it right there. He just you just put your phone on a disadvantage because you just want to spend one one meter you just just because or you just freaking get out of a like safe situation is of that or your phone basically that move allows you to turn the freaking thing around which could make sense in some way but like like having it do like having it in neutral is not a good thing. That's the main thing, like right that. What people hate about it, that you can use it in neutral for free, and basically, like, I put it in the first, get a penalty faster and full screen. But you can't get much off it though. So if you do a raw vanish and it hits, then you're you're just knocking them away from you, right? So it might be like it's it's more to get you out of trouble. Um, now it all changes when you have spark available. When you have spark available, you just start hitting buttons like a madman, and it's just if you're on the receiving end, you're guessing. Yeah, true. So, 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 okay, other things that I want to try to fix, obviously, like, um, like, basically, uh, trying to think, uh, okay, do, do anyone else have, like, an idea of what I think, about, like, any other, any ideas of what, what should be, shouldn't have been fixed at all, what I think about um. I, I would say one way or another, fix the long block strings. So because like as a spectator, if you're like right now, like combo breakers on, there's like ten pe ten thousand people watching Dragon Ball, and there's twenty thousand people watching Street Fighter, a three year old game. That pe the general consensus is people like Dragon Ball better, but yet as a spectator, Street Fighter is going to be a little bit more fun to watch. And the reason being, it's high damage. Um, you're not locked down in block strings forever, right? And mm -hmm. th you have a mechanic, a comeback mechanic, which you do in Dragon Ball, but it's the, the spark isn't as extreme. The comeback mechanic is more saving you than putting the other person in peril, right? So, yeah. um, I I don't know how to fix the block string though, because the block string, like, what do you do? Do you either have like some level of guard break, so no, no. you block so long and don't do anything about it, and it no. breaks? Or... No, no. The best thing I did to actually fix um fix long block strings is make reflect better. Make reflect better. That's the other thing. Yeah. Yeah. That no. That's that's the main thing right there. Because look, if you can if you can use the flag by blocking right there, that allows you to freaking push the opponent away, easily right there. So 
so that your opponent can't freaking like it, it's a lock it down like that like uh, by using a syscall and you basically or like get stuck in a long box because of it but if you if you are able to reflect by blocking like if you can block certain moves like that certain like the, if you, more like a push block in marvel yeah more like a push Wait, block what? in marvel that would that would make the game freaking so much freaking a lot better right than to actually do it oh yeah yeah so so it sounds like it's not really a, a character or an OP character that's kind of the biggest complaint. It's more of like a kind the of a, the a system, system mechanic. Yeah, system yeah, mechanic. the block screens. Yeah, you just get your pattern for your team, and then you do it, and then if they block everything, hope you can do it again before they go to you. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. I see. Then, then it's just a rush to, to maintain offense. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I mean, that, that sounds good, but yeah, if, it, if it's to the point where it's just infinite block strings, then yeah, I could see where that's going to... It's just, there's, there's no infinite yeah. boss things right there. There's very long boss things. Unless, yeah. unless uh, someone... It feels infinite. Like, unless someone... Yeah, has, well, I mean, like, it, like either one person's doing block strings or the other. Like, like pretty much that's what's happening the whole game, you know? Mm-hmm. And, and, and I guess to touch on it, too, to add to the fun value, what kind of makes the game's fun is having those scrambly situations, right? Which, when you have the super long block string pressure, and, like, I think a part of the fault of that is the auto combo, which is good and bad, but, but like... A, you can just tap a button twice and like you'll be keeping them locked in, right? You don't have those crazy scrambles like you do in other games. I see. I see. There's like a like a de facto series of buttons to press just to keep it going. Exactly. Yep, exactly. Okay, um do you any you guys have anything else at all before we go to the next topic at all? I, I'm good. Okay. I do actually. Uh, I want to talk about just balance patching in general because I noticed that one of the questions you asked is was the balance patch underwhelming? Um, I, I'm. I mean, I'm twenty. I'm twenty years deep in in fighting games. I'm. I'm kind of origin from like Street Fighter Two, Super Turbo X versus Street Fighter these days, right? Mm -hmm. And I actually, I, I find, and I'm not sure if it's true today, that the the more subtle the balance patch, the more likely people are gonna like st stay committed to the game. But basically, if you change it too much, some people just stop liking it. Like kind of the NRS effect, right? Or like, yeah. I really like this character. I really got good with this character. Now my character sucks, right? So now this game sucks, right? This kind of thing. So when I hear that patches are underwhelming, that's actually what I want to hear. I want to hear that they addressed the broken stuff and just let everyone else get good with the other stuff. Like, you know, oh, people complain about this and that. Well, if it wasn't broken, leave it. And let people adjust and get good. This is how you get games that are like five years later. People are really digging in deep. Um, that, I don't know. That's just kind of how I feel about patches in general. I like the idea of patches. I just, I just like, but I like the idea that patches fix the broken. Uh, I, I respect that. Yeah, I, I can agree with that. Yeah. Because, yeah, because once once you go because uh, like uh, like underwhelming sounds like a great patch to me, like a patch that you didn't mm -hmm. notice but that just fixed broken things. That's kind of what I want to see. Cause I, I I don't know I just don't like the idea of like I use this team and now my team sucks, you know. Yeah, yeah that, I know what you mean right there. Like a major balance patch. Just yeah, yeah. but but obviously like the major battle patch should happen probably once every six months if anything, for like depending mm -hmm. on the game, but or like if it's a fighting game probably like longer depending on it unless like the the meta of the game is really fucking bad, like yeah like uh the like um. Like uh, season two, I think the meta of like got really bad for season two and she fed a five, <laughs> like yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> and, and, and the, even uh, even in Street Fighter Five, I noticed that to where like you know people pick Balrog, right? And he was just the greatest guy ever, right? And then uh, and then you know it's it, almost like in season uh, and and then there's people who like literally don't play Street Fighter no more because Balrog sucks. <laughs> You know, yeah. So you know, I, I, it's just it's kind of weird because you want to satisfy the people, but at the same time, like I said, I come from the days where there was no patches. People just really got good with what they had. Mm -hmm. So obviously, I don't want to go back to the caveman days like that. But I do have a respect for hey, get it, get good, like adapt, like adapt. Obviously, if we're talking about infinite combos and things you can't get out of, we're gonna need some patches. But I like the idea of just. Keep it minimalist. Let let people let people love what they love and 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 keep doing what they're doing. You know what I mean? 
Well, oh, look yeah. at Marvel three too, right? Like they had like one update and that was it. And yeah. um, and I you mean, still nope. see new tech coming out. You still see like new teams rising to the top and everything near the end game. Like yeah. uh, what what was the gentleman saying that played like uh um uh, I heard Justice like. He was wrecking right. people with that poop team, and uh, well, what was considered poop, right? But he, he found a way to make it work. He yeah, did. quote unquote low tier, right? Exactly. Yes. Yeah, man. Yeah, he yeah. Had I mean, all the tax and like strategies for that team, you know, it's been kind of nuts. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I, it's kind of funny that every time you talk about DBZ, you got to talk about Marvel and you talk about Marvel talking DBZ, but yeah, that's kind of the Marvel legacy, right? Where it's just it's the get good, like one one to two balance patches and. Like I said, obviously there's broken shit in the game, but oh, yeah. people people overcoming the broken shit to me is more impressive than patching it out. Like or you people, find de- it even people more- dealing with Virgil and dealing with Phoenix to me is is more impressive than a Phoenix nerf. You know? Yeah, yeah I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Okay, um Okay, let's go on to the next one, which is guilty of I mean, a Blaze Boo uh, cross tag battle. Uh, basically, it's a uh, crossover fighting game between all the various franchises that um, uh, Arc System has been working on for the for their fighting game, like a fighting game system, uh, Blaze Blue, which had a very. It's basically an anime fighter, but it's more like uh, Marvel's Capcom Infinite, where you can tag during it. Uh, but instead of having your cat, you attack her to be your sis, uh, there's a sis that you can, certain characters have for one or no. That you it's can, Marvel 1-ish. Because Marvel 1, you had an assist from like a thing that you picked, and then you had yeah. you tag yeah. in the notes. Um, actually, it just released in Japan today, I think. I'm like, where I'm going this evening, I'm going to be playing it, and it's going to be uh, the Japanese version, so I never got my hand oh, on nice, it. Man. Okay, cool. Yeah, so basically, basically it's yeah, similar to that. But, um, in this game, but that you have characters from Blaze Blue, you have characters from Under Knife and Birth, uh, you have characters from Persona Four, and then from the Ruby series, uh, which is a three D three D animated uh, uh, anime series that was made in the USA. But that that's from what I heard, it's actually pretty popular in the US. And basically. Please. Yeah, and it's basically a crossover fighting game between all those right there, where you pick you know a team of two right there, and you basically find it out. And I don't know really much besides that. <laughs> it's super complicated, from my understanding. Like, it, like, huh. like Guilty Gear level complicated, maybe a bit more because mm. I don't know. Anime games are like that. Like we have a where I'm at <laughs> my little part of the world in Atlantic Canada. There's a, the number one game is Blaze Blue by far. Like huge Blaze Blue fo- following. They play it li- religiously. They, they touched on Dragon Ball a little bit, went right back to Blaze Blue. Uh, CP, I believe, is the version that's being played now. And they oh, always yeah, have to turn out in the tournaments. But, um, yeah, the mechanics for the... Te- like, you can do you can do a lot. So it's a pretty big blank canvas for creativity with the, all the mechanics like available to you. However, like learning it, that's going to be a whole different animal. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, so... Yeah, so, that's actually that's actually refreshing because if you think about all of the, all of the fighters that are out now in terms of the sequels, like Street Fighter Five is a sequel, Street Fighter Marvel, Street Fighter Marvel. Um, there's been a kind of a dummying down of mechanics, and I get it; they want to expand user base, but it is refreshing to hear the word "complicated" in front of a game. Yeah. To me, it's refreshing to hear. Like, not every game needs to be the user friendly game. And, and and I appreciate that they're going at this angle with it. I like yeah. that too. Definitely interesting. Yes. It's, yeah, I, I think yeah. a lot of it's wrapping your head around everything too, right? Like I never touched it yet to know how hard things are to execute. It's just the variety of options because you, you like uh, you can. I think the, the assist you can hold a direction or something when you call the assist. And they have each person has multiple assists that you could use, and they, you can also keep them. I think you can almost control where the assist comes out at too. So mm. you can have them behind you, in front of you. Now I might be wrong here, but I'm, like. I'm in, a, I'm in a group there where people are talking tech about it all day, so I'm just sort of regurgitating what I heard. But, um, yeah, the, the the depth is there. The depth is definitely there, and um, I, I imagine you'll be discovering tech on that game for a very long time, as long as it's being played. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. I, 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 took, uh, I did some due diligence and kind of looked up um, some of the mechanics of the game before the discussion here, and if, I don't know if I was reading this right, but it said something about, like, calling your assist and then taking over the assist character. 
by holding a certain button. I don't know. There was something like that where that sounds really deep to me, like super freestyle, where you don't know what character I'm going to be or when I'm going to tag. I don't know. It just, it. I don't know. It, it, it seems very like like very open, like very open like that. It does. And they have like supers and stuff that do, do so much damage, like Half Life Dawn. Um, I don't know yeah. if it's actually a super or if it's just like something unique to the game, but um, there's some really, really big damage stuff there too. So, which is good, right? Like that 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 increases the stakes, so it should be fun. Mm-hmm. Yep. Should be fun right there. So, has anyone tried out the beta at all? Uh, I have not. No. I, I didn't either. I did not try it either. So we're probably the least group of people to let you know about the game at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty sad. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Um, basically, so obviously we, uh, since we don't know much about the beta, we can't give you our thoughts about it because we don't have it. But yeah, from, we what, from what it looks like, that the game could be a very good game, and for what it sounds like, it's going to be a very deep game. So it's good, might be like a. Something similar to uh, like uh, Guilty Gear because Guilty Gear has a crap ton of mechanics, and it's, it's very for what I know is a very hard game to actually play at a high level. Along with Tekken, Tekken is a very, very tactical game that you have to know a lot of different matchups to have to do it and a lot of different buttons and how to have to do it. And yeah, and this game is if one if one it sounds like it's going to be like similar to that. And hopefully we will try it out. So we will f- figure, find out if it's actually a good fighting game or not. But from what I heard, a lot of people do enjoy it. So it's probably going to stay on for at least a little while here. I mean, it, it looks like it's bringing a lot of um, respected anime IPs into the mix. So I, I'd I imagine that. that. Yeah. You're yeah. pretty much combining all the niche audiences in, under one roof. That sounds like it's gonna it's gonna do well on, on that on that front at least. You know. That is. Yeah, because. You're, you are consolidating like the the Uniel and the Blaze Blue crowds, right? Because like those are like as niche as yet, and uh, putting them together, so that that'll be neat and increase their player base. Mm-hmm. Yeah, anime, anime fighters unite. Um, there is something that I wanted to speak about in general in regards to this game coming out. Um, Yo, doesn't sorry. have anything to do with this game specifically. It's more about the FGC scene. Is that um, I think it's clear, and I think part of this is because of MVCI's soft launch or uh, uh, un, uh, 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 what's the word I want to find here? Uh, MVCI un, didn't it didn't didn't do as well as expected, straight up, right? But I think what that did is put a huge chink in the armor as far as other versus games stepping it up. Yeah, like uh, I, I for for too. for a while, Marvel Marvel versus Capcom before MVCI, there was no competition for a versus game. Like true, none. Yeah. It was a. Uh, it was. It was un. It was almost like de facto. Capcom has it in the bag. You cannot compete with versus games. Th- I mean, there was a few King of Fighters, but those were still well, like round type games. Um, well, but I, mean, I that, think. Well, I mean, well, I mean, that was like DC versus Mortal Kombat, but uh, we don't talk about that game. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, uh, like I said, it, it was pretty much default. Marvel vs. Capcom, but I think what w- one of the biggest um, kind of, I guess it could be a good thing about Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite's kind of weak launch is that other companies said, hey, we can take this crown. Like, there's room for us now. Yeah. And DB- DBZ, with the success, has definitely showed other companies like, hey, this is a, co- a, com- a co- market that has competition. Like, there's room for competition. Capcom yeah. doesn't just have it in the bag anymore. So I think BB tag is kind of a result of this, which is a great thing. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Which is a great thing. Like like Marvel, da- Dragon Ball Z pretty much showed the world, hey, like this this crown is up for grabs. Like get in, and BB tag is like second in line. Like hey, okay, let's get in. So I, it's kind of weird how like uh, I don't know. I just I just see that Capcom no longer holds the crown the way like they used yeah, they to know. as far as like default. You know, and now the competition's coming out. Yeah. To be fair yeah. though, it was more. It wasn't as much about how the game actually plays and the tightness of gameplay, because like I'll go out on my shield here, and I like MVCI and the way it plays way better than Dragon Ball. As far oh as God. creativity, funness, everything, check, check, check. What does yeah. DBZ have that Marvel doesn't? The roster. And yeah. you could argue the roster, too, right? Like, if you mer- count all the Gokus in there, like, that's ridiculous. But not trying to hate on Dragon Ball or anything like that, but just... No, I, I, to- I totally yeah, get it. Like, and, and the public perception is definitely the favorites not being there and the roster selection, right? It's not how the game is played because, like, they were still very innovative 
and uh, made a super fast paced, smooth, easy to learn. Like everything you could want as far as gameplay wise go, it delivered. Mm-hmm. Yeah, most definitely. Yeah, I'm, I'm talking. I'm, yeah, uh, obviously, I, I agree with you on that front. I, I am a huge Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite fan. Same but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm talking more of the, the critical reception and just kind of the results of that. You know? Oh now, yeah, yeah. It, it, now, now, basically, now there's other players in the game. You know? And I mean, there's like you said, there's the DC versus <laughs> like there's other there's always been other versus attempts, <laughs> but now these other versus games are getting a true time to shine because Marvel didn't do didn't wasn't received. So it's just kind of a weird backlash uh, from that. It is. Yeah. It's just, I mean, it's great because the more versus games, the better. You know, the more fighting games, the better. But I think this is just kind of one of those things that we didn't realize how much Marvel had an impact. And when Marvel doesn't deliver, other people just step up like ASAP. They kind of like mess you know? up, you know? It, it kind of like, like shows that like, Capcom and Marvel, like, after, like Infinite, they should like do better, you know? Yeah, because yeah. for, for for a while for a while nothing could compete with Street Fighter, and then Mortal Kombat yeah. and slowly other games came out, and now we're starting to see that for versus games. Tekken, all those games, you know. Yeah. So now now it's time for the versus series influx. You know. They need to. They need to like. They need to like step up that game for the next uh, Marvel game. You know. Uh-huh. I yeah. don't think it'll be a Marvel game. I think Capcom. Will, I think Capcom will release a versus game, but it it won't. Where it won't be with Marvel. They're too hard to deal with. Ever since Disney took yeah. it over, it's a, they're a nightmare, right? So, it is, dude. They, and they have enough IPs where they can make a versus game that plays like a Marvel versus Capcom game, Capcom but just have Capcom there people. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Okay. Um, I think it's time to go go on to the next topic here, which is okay. about to be uploaders, re-uploaders. Basically, uh, if you don't know who a, a, a re-uploader is, it's basically someone that takes someone else's content and puts it up on YouTube or on social media, and basically, uh, like, basically claims it as their own, or you know, or 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 you know, not claiming it as their own, but monetizes it so they can make money off yeah. of something else, someone else's work. And they and they don't like ask like permission too. That's yeah. like a big deal too. Yep, and they don't ask permission to do so. Basically, mm-hmm. there's there's a variety of channels doing that. Like um, the Beast, Beast it was a notorious re-uploader that freaking oh, like, yeah. that freaking does all the things that he does like, like and he doesn't even own like uh, his own like a console to actually record footage at all. And that's basically one of the main things that people really hate. And basically, Arturo Sanchez, who you know, basically he's part, he he works with um, uh, Team Spooky. That you know, he's like he's a very close friends with right there. Basically, <coughs> freaking uh, like uh, spout out that like people on the Dragon Ball Fighters subreddit, the mo- the visual mods right there, actually freaking like a uh, like a uh, rip the streams and upload them out, and then then post their rips on the subreddit so that they can make money off someone else's stream and while the official oh, thing wow. the, and the official stream only gets like a tiny bit of freaking view while the the, the reddit right there the people that freaking steal it right they get a lot more ad revenue from it which did is, they uh, did they like ask or like no, 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 because this was Canada that Cup. That ain't good. This was Canada <laughs> Cup and you know Canada Cup uh, like Latsy right there freaking like Hates when people uses his own like hates when oh, he yeah. uses his own footage right there. So here's here's the real problem with re-uploading. So obviously with Arturo, it's that's his primary source of income, right? Like I don't think he has a regular job. He 100 yeah, percent streams, yeah. create content, that's it, right? And it took a long time to get into where he is today, right? So mm-hmm. when people are messing with his money, obviously that's a huge problem. So it here's is. here's the real problem, and it's it comes down to. What people it, it comes down to search engine op- optimization. So just say you're me and Jaco are playing the Evil Grand Finals. This is gonna yeah. happen one day, Jaco. I promise. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, so me, me and Jaco. <laughs> so so me and Jaco, Evil Grand Finals. Jaco stops me as he should, and uh, so someone wants to go and look for that match. So they go to YouTube. They search Jaco versus Don Con Evil Grand Finals. <laughs> they're not they're not looking to see who uploaded it, right? So they're not gonna go. Oh, I know Spooky streamed it. Let me go to Spooky's channel. No. It's, nope. It's, YouTube, it's not about being best, it's about being first. So when you are the first search result, you have, or even if you're good at uh, at optimizing the search, which is a pretty easy to manipulate with YouTube, they give you the tools to, to really 
make mm-hmm. your stuff be it found. So now you're you're beating them into search engine optimization. People are just searching for that particular match, which is going to happen for any tournament, any stream. That reuploader is just going to hit it because he was first. And now that's mo- that's that's v- subscribers, that's views, that's everything, all the good yep. things that come with what you want when you create content going to someone else off the back of the efforts of others. Yep, that is true. Yeah, that hey guys, is for a long time. Yep, that's one hundred percent true right there, and that that is why a big influence. It's basically because of the money aspect, because basically most of the fighting game tournament soon right there. People want to see what's happening right now, and they want to see it ASAP. They, yeah, they do. All, all of your certain fake masses from the past of their people would want to watch again, but after like this mass happens again, they want to see the next level of a play at that thing. So they want to see how good that player is now. They don't want to see what the player is, how good he was in the past, unless he wants to let's attack it. So basically, whoever uploads it first. Or like whoever has the contact first, they have the ability to have to get the most views because those are the views that will matter the most. Because mm-hmm. did everyone... you guys discuss about LTG and DSP dealing with that issue yet, or no? No, no, we we did not. That's they're not one simple. of the fir- They're one of the first people to deal with re-uploader uploader issues before anyone else. DSP oh, yeah. definitely. Yeah. DSP's oh, yeah. rage. DSP's rage comps are amazing. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry to say, <laughs> I, I'm sorry to say, guys. Okay, I'm not. Oh, that, to, that, uh, oh yeah, I don't, I don't knock that at all, right? And I'm the re-uploaders. I'm not yeah. trying to be like die all re-uploaders, but when you get LTG's rage comps or DSP's rage comps, you're just like, okay, I'm gonna click this. But yeah. to be like, fair, right? Like that's them. That's their personality. They should be getting those views and getting that audience, right? And whether you're watching for positive or negative reasons, right, because of their behavior, you should be watching what they're doing, not just, oh, I took these few clips and put it up and now I'm going to I'm going to get I'm going to get mon- monetized or get the views. The back of yeah, them, right? we're going to get the views. And like you said earlier, you nailed it on the head. Most YouTubers have dealt with this issue since basically 2010. Mm-hmm. Where H3, H3, they try to keep up with the upload game, but it's just so hard. And when you have somebody that's sitting there all day ready to just pop that button, you already nailed it on the head. We want new tech. We don't want last week's tech. We don't want last month's tech. We want new tech. And however we get that new tech, and this is just coming from the guy that sits on the couch and looks at this stuff, you know, <laughs> he's got it first? Okay, because I'm not trying to wait a month, uh, an hour later for the other one. And I understand this is a very hard world. Yeah. And like, what when it comes down to that. Yeah. Basically, this is the main issue. It's just because the money aspect. Because how people want to see what's happening right now, and they don't care much about the past, they will see right now, and they want to watch the most current freaking tournament right there. So whoever uploads the footage first, and if even if it's not Teen Spooky or like uh, like Capcom Fighters, they and I re- whoever uh, whoever uh, has the the, sh- the 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 rights to that footage right there, and they don't upload as they probably do the tournaments. Th- that's like the that's like a big freaking blow right there. Like mm-hmm. Teen Spooky and like uh, Capcom Fighters right there try to make try to make it so that they upload like uh like, like upload footage as it goes right there Gookie but, does the grind yeah i respect well, their grind. they do mm-hmm. yeah but for, like, and to, to be fair too like i don't even think it's that bad in fgc compared to other places because like if you look at youtube traffic or anything like that fgc is like like 0.001 percent of any content that's on there like we are nothing like we are absolutely nothing yeah like you look at, you want to see someone get pirated Look at Joe Rogan clips. Like, look at like Ninja. Even if you want to stick in the realm of gaming, like, there's like much bigger fish that has to deal with yeah, this yeah. problem way more than us. Yeah, yeah. L- look oh, at wow. yeah. Look at the freaking like uh, Fortnite compilation grados. Freaking hell! A video get of a guy uploaded a couple of days ago got five million fucking hits. It's just fucking people like for like, taking clips from various YouTube YouTube channels or Twitch channels, compilating all these various things and putting them all together. And like, it's no most. Probably none of the footage is their own, which that is like the biggest main thing that people, it is. Because look, and look, that guy, like five million views, that's fucking like close to ten thousand dollars. And like, very, that's a lot of money right there. You're he, talking guaranteed five digits. Yeah. And uh, oh, honestly, yeah. and, and, when you think about it too, you know, um, on the FGC aspect of it. 
props because Daigo's grind for uploading and fighting games is nuts. The Beast channel, yeah, the beat, like whatever he gets done with, he's basically uploading. I don't know how that guy does it, dude. But that channel's but, insane. But yeah, but I think Daigo probably has a team of people that has to do it right there because obviously Daigo's like the Got most well known finding guy. Yeah, that's kind of, I mean, that, that's kind of where it's going. I mean, it's a sad reality, but it sucks that. You know, if you have somebody who's dedicated to re-uploading, he's always going to be a step ahead of the guy who's dedicated to bringing you content. Because the guy's bringing you content. That's what he's doing. That's his job. Even if he uploads ASAP, if there's somebody sitting at his computer literally low-key restreaming your stuff, you know, before you could even get a chance to upload it. Savage. You know, it, 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 it's, it's just sad that that... I think the only way to solve this is that the people who create content have to dedicate resources to this. Either they got to upload quickly or they got to constantly be monitoring and, and flagging yeah. people so that they get videos taken down. Well, and it just, it just sucks that, that they have to split their efforts from what, we, what they're good at I to know, what they I need know. to do to keep yeah. their money. You know? that, that, it just sucks that it's, that's the reality of it, but I think that is the reality of it is that they have to compete. They have to understand that if this is the market that you're going into, you have to dedicate some of your time to calling these people out, tracking your own videos, and 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 flagging videos. It's, it, I mean, it just sucks because I, you know, I wish they could just sit there and keep bringing me that Marvel, you know. But they have to take, they got to take so many hours out of their week to like make sure their money's in right and make sure their money's not getting stolen. Um, yeah, it sucks. I mean. I mean, you know, there's obviously there's good reuploading, but once you start talking about monetization, yeah, you kind of it's kind of it's kind of foul to be dipping into these people's pockets. We know we know really the good. poverty. So well, the I, I got a really good point there on the on the reuploading factor on who wants to do it for what it's worth. Um, yeah, yeah, like like Marvel, Marvel content, we die for. I mean, I'm on Twitter looking up that stuff all the time. Word. And no one I complains. No, I don't think any Marvel comp person complains because it's more of like nobody. They're, they're just trying to sh spread the game. But then again, we're not. We're not. We're not, in, we're not at. We're not in that seat to where this depends on whether rent's getting paid. You know, yeah. we have a very different perspective. Where it's labor it's love, about the love, love of the game, as opposed to like <laughs> what's going to be paying your rent. Yeah. Yep, definitely. Yeah. And and for for the FGC too, where we are so small, like it, like the FGC as a whole is niche, like it, it, yeah, as far as in the gaming spectrum. So when this happens to someone who depends on it, it's it's a lot more visible and a lot more noticeable. And and I don't think the people that are actually doing it are doing it maliciously or anything like that, right? They just see opportunity. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think it'd be cool to make a compilation video and let me go upload this, right? And they don't know yeah, anything like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. The monetization you already pointed it out. The monetization is already there, yeah. and that that's the situation. Even though, even though it might sound like good intentions, YouTube has monetization. And yeah. when you're playing that game, regardless, I'm trying to help out the community. Ha ha! There's <laughs> well, getting paid. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's basically there's a, there's like so many different uh, uploaders right now that it's very hard to do. The only way you can actually really stop them is either having like the stream do it right there, saying that. You know, do not re upload, or if this if this is not on so 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 channel right there, this is still in. But obviously, people don't want to put that in their in their stream at all on on every single video that you do. There's yeah, I mean, it should be it, it, it by super now. makes you look bad too once you it start does. doing that. Yeah, and then and still, yeah. It, it just made him look like a. Even though he's making money off his streams, this is what he's here for. Shut up. A black and gray area with this you know and it, youtube's already trying to do their copywriting and the yeah. flagging and the, and the subscription notifications and mm -hmm. it, it's such a it's such a wall now with youtube it is man Honestly, yeah i mean I believe this, it, at the end of the day even if youtube solved their issues even if they stop this type of stuff happening you're gonna. There's just gonna be another hole in the ground where people. There's are gonna, gonna be another one, man. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and speaking of gray areas, I mean, this. I mean, the YouTube has kind of gone into this. Obviously, not even about fighting games, but like when you're talking about compilations, when you're talking about reaction videos, like how much of that is your content, and how much of that is their content, and do you deserve to get paid just because you put them all together, or yeah. or just because you're you're sitting there being like, oh shit, like look at that shit was dope, like. Is that yeah, worth the money, or is, or what you're reacting to worth the money? Yeah, there's never going to be a clear cut like this is what it is and this is what it isn't. 
But yeah, I, I'm more the, the one that concerns me the most is these blatant ripoffs where somebody just really pretty much rips your stream, puts it on YouTube. Here's the top eight. I'm getting paid now. Like that. That's where. That's where I'm like, hey, I don't know how that, yeah. that at all. Like, and then, and then the only way to actually stop that right there is to freaking uh, either put in a claim for it so that you make avenue off of it or strike it so that hey, hey you know to tell them hey don't fucking do this i mean it that's yeah. that's the only two ways to make sure that like people have to do it or and yeah. uh, and i think you got to threaten to prosecute or youtube's got to say hey if we if you get flagged for this enough times you're losing your account i mean there's definitely things that could be done but yeah already but um for the three strike rule to apply, the content has to be blatantly ripped off, which means mm -hmm. like has to play for a certain amount of time. Um, yeah, just like the same I, shit. Yeah. Say if you it's, play a little bit of a clip and you interject, like you said, with the top eight, yeah, dude, that's a complete rip. That's a rip. Like, dude, just <laughs> straight up rip the page, put it on another pamphlet. But, you know, when it comes <laughs> to that type of stuff, you know, um, where people are taking people's content and they're doing like the LTG and DSP rage uh, cuts. Uh, there is editing involved. There is a little bit of yeah, and I uh, guarantee people who are those uh, people who are watching that are watching them rage. That's a part of the yeah. consumption. Yeah. Of, you, know? yeah. you sign up for that when you watch them. That's yeah, that, that's the reason that, they have an audience yeah. to begin with. That is mm -hmm. true. That is one hundred percent true. But true. and true and true at that, if they don't put any of their own content in their own content, that's still like almost all of their content that they're ripping off unless they have 100 percent freaking uh like uh permission to actually make that compilation right there that's mm -hmm. still not a good thing it's like, it's like you know how i know like a juices like you know a juices people don't like a juices because he like likes to make stream all kinds but if you want to know he actually like uh, gets permission first before he makes uh highlight videos of he, that thing he has a lot of uh early access stuff too he does so I, would, yeah, I, mean, I, I would assume that zeus is plays by the books yeah so i think that he tries to get permission for it too and but i know that he's been getting sit on so much because he's been taking a lot of stuff and obviously mm -hmm. it's like he's getting permission for it that's fine obviously he can get permission for it and they can still freaking uh claim it so that he he doesn't get videos for it but still like if he uh like makes a video for it even though he doesn't get money he will get freaking big uh, views for people to most likely describe for a standard for future content that he does that's a that's a that's another great area that do you want someone to actually uh, like, uh, get more trash them from using your contents? Like, or do you like, or are you 100% fine with uh, someone using your content like that for monetary gain, or just uh, like just for uh, helping helping or bigger? That's uh, that's another thing that people have to keep in mind too. Yeah, yeah. I I, th I think yeah, once it goes either way, you know. Yeah. I think I think once somebody is getting money in their pocket for their content, that's pretty much when the line is drawn as far as like, I think this is my money, not your money, you know, uh, anything before that. I mean, I, I you know, I don't know, man. I, I think if you're not getting monetization, like, why wouldn't you want the exposure? You know, that's yeah, the only thing I would think of. Yeah. yeah. But, but at the same time, the person that's uploading it, that the, they have their following, their following is going to come to them to see your stuff. Right. So the uh, like, yeah. They're not. Like they're, they're not shipping to you, now. right? So you're, you're like, I don't think the cross pollination is going to be there. Yeah. Yeah, but remember, right? Most of this stuff right there is tournament movie footage right now, unless you unless it's from a stream of yours right there that you're constantly doing. A tournament stuff, well, like when are they going to come back to the tournament next year? Like that's the only time they actually will come back. The only thing that you actually see is like official content from last year or your previous years. So people like right now, unless they are constantly streaming, like you know, if it's like a single person streaming right there, they even probably might be fine with people using their content. But tournaments right there, tournaments are a big deal, and basically they rely on Avenue video for like like uh, for uploads to their own channels that actually do it. And if they freaking, uh, if other people use their content that, like, only will have probably a few weeks of traction time before, you know, getting a decent amount of views right there, they're going to be cracking down on that stuff. Mm -hmm. well, so that's I mean, just well, sad because, you know, you got everybody doing this on 
like the real re-uploader side i understand and it's sad that this issue is like kind of viraled out to the fgc side yeah issue in the youtube community in general mm -hmm. yes but like now you got these guys that you know that are doing the fgc and a lot of people don't get paid unless you're doing sf5 yeah. And, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of these people are just trying to earn their dollar whatever way they can. And to just have another parasite there to get <laughs> that dollar is just sad. I'm, yeah. It, it, I'm, I mean, I'm sorry. It, it's it, sad. Con conversely, it also shows that some people are succeeding in the FGC because some people are, wherever there's someone succeeding, there's someone trying to like gank them, right? So it actually mm -hmm. shows, it, it's actually, you know, there's also a good side that some people are starting to make some real money off of this. Mm -hmm. And what's sad is, some people want to pick their pockets now, you know? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. can I go? Can I go now? Sure. Well, sure. I mean, for me, and for me in this case, like, I use, well, for, if you know me, I usually use, like, what's what, like, all, all the stream is, like, footage or, like, meshes, you know? But the thing is that I, I actually ask them, you know, ask for permission to uh, use those footage, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you know, cover, cover your butt those long way. Yeah. Is that, is that so? And, and like the earlier months when Jaco Man was uploading a whole bunch back then, there were people mm. grabbing his stuff, but I would go to his channel just because you would you would actually respond to comments. You I know did. What I mean? I was, I yeah, 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 yeah. You responded to comments, and I was like, oh, heck no, this guy responds to comments. So it just got me more motivated Yeah, to just go to your channel. And then that's when I met you up on Twitter. Yeah, but I was did, just man. like, oh, man. Yeah, I was like, wow, dude, this guy actually responds to comments because I had a question about a certain match, and something happened it was insane and i saw it on the re-uploader <laughs> channel yeah i was like hey how did yeah. this happen and he the never response just like uh, i don't well, know I mean, for me at least for me at least <laughs> yeah. i actually like by a fan to like views you know when i upload my videos and whatnot and uh support the community as well you know talk to everyone you know i think just yeah. jaco just can't talk enough marvel that's what it is yeah, true. Yeah, true, man. <laughs> okay. so, man, we had a whole night, bro. I know what you mean. <laughs> okay, so yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, that like, we like, got talking about uh people re uploading. Let's actually uh, talk about that. Have had ever any one of you dealt with a re uploader? I actually have. Not. Oh, have you? Oh. Yes. Yeah. Is no, there like it, a point to this? Yeah, no, it was a big one. Basically, it was like, like two times in the past right there that I had someone upload a uh, Marvel vs. Capcom video that I had. You know, Marvel vs. Capcom 3 uploaded it. And basically, I talked, asked them to take it down because obviously that was my video. Because it was like, because it was videos that I, you know, took my time out of recording. Because back in the day, yeah. when, when Marvel vs. Capcom 3 happened right there, you have to record those matches live. So I had to you physically have to, take, yeah. I had to physically take Ogano my time. Ogano wasn't popular back then. Yeah. I had to that was a nightmare, dude. Yeah, I had to physically take my time <laughs> on my day to like just record Marvel matches when I could have been doing something else. But mm -hmm. I took my time to record online Marvel because online Marvel obviously is, has not been shown at all. And it basically is a weird thing because the net comes bad. But there's some good players. But obviously... If no one's going to take, if I take my hard time like, to record that footage, then someone that's like, downloads it and uploads it to their channel, right there, that's a big fucking problem right there. Mm -hmm. That's a big problem. Yeah. If, if you don't like ask for like permission from the other, like, I wish you're not user, you yeah. can't, you kind of like, you kind of like a dick to it, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just had a flashback of Marvel 3's netcode. Yeah. Oh god! Yeah. So trash. Yeah. Yeah. Basically, I just had a I just had a flashback of that. Like, oh my god, he's not lying. That netcode was really bad. Yeah. Wait, you could play Marvel Three online? I'm totally kidding. I'm totally kidding. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. yeah. Wait, Sorry. vanilla. Oh no, it's so trash online. It's a different game. It's a, no, like man. you have you have your remember, online team. I do yeah. remember your content in Marvel Three back oh, then and, too. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, Zerms, I remember your content in Marvel 3 back then, too. You were a grinder, too. Yeah, I was, ba 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 I, I basically, <laughs> yeah, basically, I used to freaking, like, upload, like, freaking, like, a, a video day for mm -hmm. a long while, but then I had to stop down because, one, I've been, I've been, I wanted to play other games, too, and, two, if I found no one online right there playing online, and I also did not want to bother people, like you know, like you know, I didn't want to ask people like they say, "Hey, you want to like do? Is it okay if you want to play some Marvel now and I record like that?" I 
hate doing that right there. That mm-hmm. to get some, I'm, I don't want to force people to freaking record content for me. I just want to say, hey, you're recording my combo. If you're playing Marvel right now, do you think it'd be fine if I join by just like uh, join in so so to record? Like that'd be fine. I don't want to force people to freaking hey, hey. Sure, you're a real hey. nice guy because honestly, yes. I mean, I'm I'm, a nice I'm, a, I'm like, dude, like, let's play. Yeah, like, <laughs> dude, yeah. you, you got the game right. I saw it, I saw it on your system. <laughs> No, oh, bro, I saw you playing that night. Yeah, Don't so, talk about it. Be about it. <laughs> Get in here. Yeah, so, yeah, so, You're yeah, a that, nice guy, Zerms. You can hit me up anytime, bro. I was yeah, <laughs> yeah. But, but, yeah, basically, basically, for my content back in the day, I tried not to freaking like, force someone to record right there unless I needed to like record footage right there because I'm running low. So, so if I see someone online, I join in like this, ask them if it was okay. Because I, back in the day right there, I usually try to ask, like, if I see a player and I like, see I see that he was awesome like that, I ask him saying, hey, it will be okay, if it would be okay if I record your, like, your matches right there and upload it to YouTube. And if they say okay, upload it. If, if it's not okay, then I just, like, just move on right there because obviously they don't want me to record them. Oh, by oh, the way, no. just, to, just to say, half of these guys, now that I just realized that I'm in this room, mm-hmm. Don Con, Jaco Man, War Destroyer, and Zerms, you guys all got re-uploaded. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> did, like, did I? War well. Destroyer, I seen your shit. Really? <laughs> yes, sir. I'm not, I'm not yes, monetizing sir. you, so I'll, I'll take it as uh, just spreading the love of Marvel, but I'm curious. I'm, I'm interested. I did see your match get re-uploaded, for sure. For sure. I'm wondering when I was real uploaded. I, 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 <laughs> I know all of your names and I follow all you guys on yeah. YouTube too. Oh, I'm, yeah. and, uh, I'm not con- I'm not concerned whether they're making money off of, of it. I'm just concerned of whether my gameplay was good. <laughs> Fair enough, man. You know. <laughs> <laughs> no complaints, War Destroyer. That's why I remember you. <laughs> oh man, that dude's a beast. What's his name? War Destroyer? Oh shit. <laughs> I gotta re upload no, this. Don <laughs> yeah. I remember he had a swag ass combo. I can't remember what the <laughs> it was. The I'm one? like, I don't remember what Don Con did. It was sick as fuck. It's a rare, it's a rare it. case for sure. <laughs> I usually get bodied, so. I'm sorry, I'm just a little blank mind right now. I just got off of work and I'm home and dealing with kids at the same time, so I'm trying to remember all my Marvel mm-hmm. stuff. But, oh my god, yeah, all, everybody in this room, you guys are like big names in the community. <laughs> Every one of you. Oh, so, yeah, it's, yeah, so it's like, Thank yeah, you. you guys all got re-uploaded. Only one that I know of was, uh, I was on, I, actually I thought it was pretty cool, I was on the Funny Moments, Funny and Cool Moments, whoever does that. Uh, yeah, that's and and uh, Soul, Soul, one of Soul Bad Guys matches was on there. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, I, I, I know that right there. Um, I don't think that um, like uh, Leo right there actually uh, like asked permission right there. He just, but he basically what he does, he uh, tries to um, you know like give for saying, hey, this is the source of that, obviously. And mm-hmm. I don't believe he actually asked, he has the links. Like, yeah, he has the links right there, but he Got doesn't it. ask permission to actually for to actually do that stuff. Yeah, it's kind of kind of like here. Here's this guy. I didn't ask him, but here's this guy. <laughs> yeah. like, oh, there's there's a link. All right, there you oh, go. Funny, funny comps are pretty good though. Pretty yeah, good. I I definitely watched them several times, right? But the, obviously not some consideration like other people's stuff's getting stolen because of it. Until I saw some, my stuff on there, and I just hmm, is this ethically right? I didn't care, but that's what same I time. saw. Your your, your uh, combo on Ling Hub shit. Oh, so was that um seventy. Was it in the sixties or seventies? Because he's at the nineties now. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I think. Um, I mean, I mean, just to keep, just keep, keep like a general rule. I, I just wouldn't, I wouldn't re-upload anything that someone's making money off of. And if I re-upload something that someone's not monetization, not monetizing, I would give them shout outs and like a clear link of where to get their stuff. Yeah, that's kind of how I would do it. Hey, if you're making money, there's no, there's no, I have no right to like dip into your pockets, right? And if yeah. you're not making money and you're just getting shine, I at least got to give you credit on that shine, so so that whoever, if I'm re-uploading or reposting or whatever, there's a direct link to where you can get the original. You know, that's oh, kind of yeah. my general rule about that. You know, yeah, and that's kind of good that you know there's a good middle line with this. Like, hey, you're helping me out. 
yeah, well, I'll just give you a shout out or, or give me a shout out. Hey, if you want to re-upload anything I got, just just make sure you you just show, shoot me where it's coming from, you know, and I'll do the same for you. But once once we talk about money, I kind of just get my hands out. Like, hey, you're getting your dollar, respect, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just hurts the most because you guys are actually pushing the buttons. Yeah. I think I think that's where you get a little annoyed. Is like, fuck, dude, you could have did the combo yourself. Yeah. Are you? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Okay, like, so. Well, th th that's another thing with the re-uploading, right? Like, for the time and effort that you put into re-uploading someone's stuff, you could just create your own things. Now, I'm not trying to say yeah, yeah. That there's wrong, right? Like, obviously, there's a demand for X player, Y player, whatever. But, like, there's room for everybody. Like, you can create your own niche. Like, I am far from a skilled player at the games that I play, right? But still, mm -hmm. we have our, our niche audience created, and, and, there's a, and there's an audience for that, right? And there's an appetite for what you have to offer, so. Word, 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 word. Yeah, Fin yep. Final works yeah, you for you. Can, uh... You can you can make like matches, online tournaments, you know those type of videos, you know, combos, yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tons of content from that too. Just from your online tournaments, you get tons mm -hmm. of content from that without do, even man. trying. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah man. I make like yeah, that's I make for true. Of, yeah, man. I make like a lot of uh, videos and content for the uh, the community. Everyone knows that by now. Mm-hmm. Word, word, word. Mm -hmm. Why? Well, Why? Well, actually, I do have a story to uh, share with you guys. Uh, not so many, not so, not so many people like know about this. Besides, uh, Ultra David and uh, Zerms. Uh, you might be like, you might, you might like know this. Uh, what happened to my uh, Michigan Masters uh, twenty eighteen Mo Epine video? It got like removed. But uh, I'm gonna tell you the story. Of what happened? Uh, let's okay. see. Uh, like last month, I went to a uh, Michigan Masters uh, twenty eighteen. Last month in April, for for the the Marvel Infinite Tournament, uh, I met I met I met like a lot of players there, Marshall, Albach, and a few other guys. I we called it some like casual matches and some of the the tournament footage too, at the event as well for Marvel Infinite. Uh, when I uh, got home from the event, I added like the whole type thing in uh, Sony Vegas, and then uh, I uploaded like all the footage. Well, I, I uploaded like all the footage into like one video. To my uh, YouTube channel, like I think like ten or like a few hours later, I checked my YouTube channel. I was like, "Wait, what's going on? I got copyright notice? No way!" Uh, and then and then I checked. I, I got I got a uh, I got my first time copyright notice from uh, actually. Let me uh, let me send like a picture right now to like show you guys. Uh, wait. Strikes on the channel too. too. What do you say? He strikes on a channel. You get uh, two more copyright strikes, and you can't. Well, yeah, your yeah, first strike, you can't upload for mm -hmm. a bit. Well, I mean, like, well, I mean, hey, the thing, the uh, the, the copyright, I got it. The the the, uh, the copyright notice, I got it. And then they really like hurt my channel at all. So I'm pretty lucky with that. That's a good thing. Well, what, uh, what was who who flagged you, or what was what was the actual content that was? Well, I'm, actually, I'm gonna show you the, the picture right now, guys, if I can find it. Yeah, Part pretty, of what you did. Yeah, pretty much I was like recording like all the uh, the matches, all the casuals, and uh, some of the uh, tournament footage with my uh, iPad. iPad. Pretty much. Okay. Uh, so this is your own original footage? It's kind of, but really not, because uh, the uh, the tournament footage I uh, would call it the, uh, the you know the big screen when you go to like tournaments and whatnot. It, it did have his uh, stream layout, you know, on the screen. Yeah. Actually, where's that picture at? Actually, so, let me take a so you took a video it. of a video. Why? Well, it's pretty much like I would call it the. Uh, so like sitting in the movie theater and recording the movie with a hand cam. <laughs> no much. steady cam there. Pretty much, uh, let me show the, the picture right now. I'm gonna make a new one very quick for you guys, one second. Uh, where is it? When you got the strike, was it from a company or somebody normal? It's somebody like, it's like I know like streamer who like streamed the, the Marvel Infinite Tournament at, at uh, Michigan Matches. Uh, yeah, actually, one second guys. Should be Struggle with doing it really right real. now. So he wanted uh, those 12 viewers. I'm, I'm totally kidding, I'm totally kidding. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Not far off. The Marvel's numbers are. <laughs> okay, there we go. Right, Those twelve are mine. Guys. There you go, guys. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, what is it? There we go. 
So yeah, I got a uh, copyright uh, notice from uh from the user called uh, I O Put. And he's like one of the uh, the live streamers over here at uh, Michigan. He gave me like a copyright notice. Uh, yeah, this is this, this this is one of those things to where, I mean, just a simple like, hey, can I can I upload this? Would like cover a lot of ground here, you know. It um, is. Because yeah. you really never know. You never. I mean, I'm I'm the kind of person where I know the state of Marvel, so everyone upload it, please. But not everyone feels like that. So you know, it might be a good idea to be like, hey, do you mind if I, you know, I'm trying to make, I'm trying to bring Marvel to the masses. Do you mind if I put this tournament up? You know, well, uh, yeah. it goes a long way. I, I, to I, I, be I, I, fair. I, 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 oh, go ahead, Jacob. Man, sorry. sorry. That's all good, man. I was about to, I was about to say, I didn't like ask the, uh, I didn't, I didn't ask him though. But uh, I thought I had like I thought I thought the footage I would call it it was my own. But uh, I I actually talked to uh, Ultra David PM on Twitter that uh, he told me that uh, he owns the the footage too because uh, the screen the in a live stream you know the screen they show at the tournament he he owns that you know because he has the the stream layouts in the screen mm -hmm. yeah yeah from what he told me mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, that's ridiculous. It to is. To keep yeah. it honest with you, that's, that's just straight ridiculous to what, act to, like that. To be fair to the streamer, though, he probably doesn't care so much about Marvel because he streamed everything, right? He probably streamed yeah. every single yeah. game there, so it's just, it's just it's another yeah. another thing being taken, right? So, and I'm sure the guy that's hired to stream Michigan Masters, like he's no Arturo, he's no Spooky, he's just a guy just trying to get by and spend a lot of money on this equipment, right? And then to see well, his stuff yeah. uploaded. Well, I mean, well, I mean, well, I mean, there was like a lot, of, there was like a lot of uh, other streamers too at the event as well. Besides that, besides that guy, you know. I guess so. my argument, like you just said, is that that person brought the equipment there and brought the right things there, versus Jayco Man recording it with his iPad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, all right, everybody's on board with me. Okay, so like shitty footage. Jayco, man, I, I love you, bro. But you know, like it's an iPad, right? It's no steady know, cam. It, it's like, no, it's, it's like, no steady like, cam. Like you know? <laughs> you're gonna hit, you're gonna hit uh, a strike when it's not even a a perfect rip. What? I, at that point, yeah, okay, I I agree with you. Yes, he's streaming. He's getting his money. He brought all of his equipment. Mm -hmm. But what is he worried about at that point? Yeah. Perfect HD 1080 footage. That's shaky. It's, just, <laughs> it's it's still it's still with, freaking 1080 with, footage with, right with there. Jacob hype in the background and audio, you know. Just turn up, y'all. Let's remember. Let's remember. Any footage from your official stream can hurt the potential revenue that you get. And yeah, no, I, I, I agree. This, this is one. I mean, I'm, I'm, I really love what you do, Jaco. But this is one of those to where I yeah, could I see, did, I, did I could see that. why you got flagged, and I could see. I mean, if you go black and white, you did kind of just zoom in on his footage, right? Yeah, it's the kind of thing. It's a, but I know you as a person, Jaco man, and I'm sure yeah, you had no ill intent, and I'm sure you thought oh, I just like I would have thought, you know. But yeah, yeah th I mean, this is one of those things to where if you're ever going to do something like this, even if it's informal, just, oh, hey, yeah. hey, bro, do you mind if I upload this? Yeah. You know, this would, this just, know, just, just so they know you're in good spirits with them, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have to, like, ask you the person, like, next yeah. time if, yeah. I, if I go to, like, one of these, like, tournaments again, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that, that, like, that's, that's, that's San Diego. You're probably mm -hmm. okay recording off tournament, for, like, uh, pool matches. Or yeah. like all tournament masters right there, you're probably one percent fine doing that. But any footage that is being streamed with any logos or anything like that, or anything, anything like if if it's being streamed or recorded yeah, that's another good. person, yeah. that is one hundred percent not not good. I don't think yeah. the punishment fits the crime though, because like he's literally doing this over that. Like uh, if you really like if you look at it, if the monetization of YouTube, how yeah. many views is that Marvel footage gonna get? Is it gonna break five hundred? Is it gonna break a thousand? He's doing this uh, over literally a dollar. But no, no, yeah. but, mm -hmm. but, yeah. but, 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 but let's been, let's listen to this. Remember, it's another thing. Yeah, he also is protecting his brand, right? Since he has his yeah. brand in it right there, and if you don't protect your brand right there, that means you don't care about your brand. So, oh, definitely, so, definitely. That's imagine. That's imagine. That's imagine. Right. You know how freaking how like like um like uh like Walt Disney right there cares about 
Mickey Mouse so much like that, and they <laughs> would do anything, even like a small fan project or like a small freaking business right there that's having like a, like a couple of yeah, things. They, they if actually... they if they don't do anything about that right there, anyone can freaking just copy that there and just ruin that character, and they don't want to do that. So that's why yeah. people are very protected about their brands. Mm. So you even know, if, I mean, even, if it, even if it's only freaking five cents right there, if no one protects their brand right there, that means they don't care about the brand. Well, I guess what I'm getting at was that I it probably could have got it resolved a little bit differently. Could, like, a yeah. YouTube show channel, like that, that's pretty harsh for like. Obviously, I th I believe Jacob Man was in the wrong for what he did, right? I I don't think it was out of malicious intent, it but it, but yeah. like I like I said, I don't think the punishment fits the crime, right? Like I like how hard would it be for the motions that that guy had to do to put a copyright strike on his channel? It would have been just as easy to say, "Hey, Jacob, I'd rather you remove this video," and I'm sure he would have clearly obliged. Issue resolved. No harm, I no foul. I was about to say that, man. Yeah, man. I was about to say nah. that. Like, why would like do this? He should have like. My my biggest problem is this, like why they like give me like copyright claim. You should have like you know asked me, hey Jake, can you, like remove this? I'd be like one hundred percent fine. Like you know, yeah. removing yeah, the bank. You know? Yeah, you it, you could even be thinking you're doing someone a favor by giving them exposure, and it's like nah, yeah, and then they just you know, strike you. Yeah, that's whack. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah so it's I a can't, world, like, can't, can't, subject. Like, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, but I like credit. before y'all go back to the Walt Disney subject. I'm a professional yeah. tattoo artist, and mm -hmm. they sued the tattoo world. Their stuff. Yeah, that. that I is, mean, that and, oh, they, they didn't want them naked Tinkerbells. Do you, know it, do you know how hard it is to sue the tattoo world? You have to yeah. go to the like to the health board. They yeah. sued the health board. Do they? Wow, for, <laughs> that's wild. Stop Disney tattoos to stop because there are Disney tattoo flash in the shop, and that's like the number one thing people said. Tinkerbell. Oh yeah, that's pop. Yeah. <laughs> Drunk well, to your bill, huh? so, uh, I mean, yep, that's really popular. You have no clue how many yeah. of those I did in my life. Yeah, that's definitely. And yeah, true. they will go. They they will go that far. Sure. Yeah. Like like Zerm said, Zerm's right. People will go that far to make sure their brand is safe. Yeah. It is. Yep. Yeah. And when, when it comes to when it comes to things like this, there's no way to measure intent. Like, is he really trying to steal a dollar from you? Is he just trying to expose it? So, like I said before, you just got to cover your butt. You just got to. Yeah, they, that guy obviously did like go too far, but he didn't know who you are, Jaco. He didn't yeah. know that if he were going to listen to you or not. So he wanted to make sure that he would be yeah. serious about that. So that's why he had to put a strike in it. But it's yeah, still, plus, plus it's, it's a hot topic right now, you know. Mm -hmm. too, like, it it's, on it's, everyone's brain it's, it's still like messed up that he has to remove the strike at all he has to even try to contact you at all mm -hmm. that that's yeah, it's still, that's, like, that's like, you didn't, like talk to me about it you know that's, yeah it's not like you it's not like you took like five g's from this fool yeah. <laughs> and yeah. i got the i got the cody trailer <laughs> i got the cody trailer <laughs> y'all <laughs> you get my point on that one i got the cody trailer y'all i i ain't releasing it yet mm -hmm. yeah Nothing like that. Yeah, that's it's just like a couple that. of Marvel matches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that is true. It's like it's it's like it's like a learning experience, you know. Like I had to learn next time, you know, to like ask the uh, the stream if, hey, I can can I use your footage, you know, next time, you know. So I learn that, you know. Yeah, and at least the strike you got, it, it's at least the strike you got. It's obviously over something that even from just observation, you it we. Anyone could look at this and know you weren't trying to rip someone off because it's Marvel and it's Marvel Infinite at Michigan Masters and I'm not talking shit. It's just the reality that it's it's not like you're giving the Cody trailer. You know? Yeah. 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 It's, it's yeah, it's relatively small potatoes. Yeah. No disrespect, but like we're all small potatoes here. No disrespect. Okay. And also the trailer. My boy is not that bad anyways. It's like three months and it didn't like hurt my channel that much. So. I, so I should not really, really like worry about it, you know. Oh yeah, it's, it, like like it's, I'm sure I'm glad you're taking it as a learning, Jacob. It is, yeah. Yeah, but it's just that. Well, let's uh let's go to the the last section of the video right here before we do it, which we're gonna do. Um, basically, is this other final game news? Um, probably the biggest one right now that like uh, that is being well known is that. Uh, Street Fighter Five is is hinting that Cody is going to be revealed uh, tomorrow on stream, and we're going to be mm -hmm. going to be freaking very hyped for it because Cody is going to be like like looks like the most unique design right that like how he is right that because he nobody's, used, nobody's mad about Cody. Falk's yeah. already over. 
Yeah, like, no one's <laughs> really good. Everyone's fucking hyped about Cody because obviously, yeah, he looks hype. He's the new mayor in town, like the, the new mayor of Metro City. New mayor of Metro City. Yeah, so he. I think he's the mayor. mayor. Oh no, no, they've been yeah. they're, 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 on Twitter. They say that he is the mayor. So, uh, I mean, no way. He took Hager's position. I didn't know he that. Did. He, yeah, he, did. He, he did. Yeah, yeah, like it's being, it's being said by the freaking official Twitter. Uh, I don't know fighter. how the fuck did he do that. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Damn it, dude. Says, but I, I, actually, guess what? Poof. Uh, it's actually not Cody. It's Hagar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 So, but yeah, basically, um, we're going to see that right there. We hopefully will, like, he's actually pretty damn good right there. I can't wait. Mm-hmm. Um, Watch a yeah. troll us and announce something for Marvel. My head would explode. Yep. Same here. Yeah, same here. E three, man. I I don't know, man. Like as E3 days go by, by the community like just gets wary from it. You know, it's a long fight sitting here just being like, "Hey, something gonna happen?" No. When are we getting season two, guys? Yeah. Oh, See, no response. All right. Like, well, uh, we'll just sit here and wait. Yeah. True. Great. True. True. I'm fine yeah, how the game is though. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I, yeah. I, I, I agree with Don Connor. I come more of the and the. To where I'm not waiting for someone to validate what I love. I know I love it already, and I already know Maybe a lot I of did. people I can love it with. So I don't need I don't need the FGC or any community, Mister Wizard. I don't need anyone to tell me like, okay, you guys can like this now. Like I like it already. So Maybe I'm not. Did. Yeah, like uh, I'm. I'm. War, I'm war, war destroyed. My that would not. I I wasn't trying to say that. Um, I I. I agree with 100% what you're saying. I, I, it's more or less like, I love this game and I love what it is and I enjoy what it is. What, what's gonna happen? Is, is it already done? Are we done? So we just kind of, like, just do our thing and we deal with this and deal with the mods. Or are we gonna I guess so. support? Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a tongue, it's a tongue in cheek joke here, but that's, it wouldn't be the... a true Marvel game without yanked support. <laughs> Man, okay, yep, okay. Dude, I'll shut the fuck up. It wouldn't be a true Marvel game without you having to deal with what's already out there and get good. Like, that's kind of... Are we back in 2010? Marvel Circle. We're back in Marvel 1, 2, 3, 4, Infinite, and Infinite. Oh, Marvel 2 was perfect. Yeah, with... (laughs) That's what I'm saying, so... Yeah, so, I mean, obviously, obviously I I would want to see support, but at the same time, there is definitely something very Marvel about this game where they give it to us in a state with little, little to little to no balance, just balancing what's critically broken, and just figure it out now. Like that's mm-hmm. that's. I mean, to me, to me, to me, to everyone, to everyone in this generation, that sounds odd and game's dead. But to me, that sounds just like Marvel. That sounds Shows just like, like Marvel. I think it's on not selling now, though. Say so again. I would say Marvel Infinite's on the upswing. We got like. Like, think about how the community has happened, right? Like, you had all the dead games, some of the top players left and everything that played Marvel 3, and, like, you never got that passing of the torch to the next gen. But I think, like, what we have left for the Marvel community is fantastic, right? It's just nothing but people that just genuinely love the game. The player base is great. People are sharing tech. Like, it's, it's really good, right? Like, that dead game stuff is kind of a blessing in disguise as far as having a good community, a good player base. I find more matches on Marvel Online than I do for Dragon Ball. Yeah, and uh, there and and to be quite honest, there is something of a resurgence happening, and I Definitely. think that's just I think that's just because the newness of Dragon Ball is wearing out. Not that it's bad, or I don't want to go into picking straws that. against that. I called that but, months ago. But, but the newness of the because when Mar I mean this is a different topic, but Marvel launched in the state it launched, so the grass just looked greener before Dragon Balls even came out. People were saying mm-hmm. it's the next Marvel. Well, now that we've been on that side of the yard. Some of the gameplay stuff about Marvel don't look so bad, you know? So I think that's kind of what's responsible for, like, this resurgence happening. Sorry to interrupt. We broke alternate. We broke it. All the tech Mm -hmm. to figure out for ultimate. It is pretty much at its bare bones. Now, you're talking about we we broke that game less than three years as a community. We broke it. Broken. So you're telling me that Dragon Ball picked up Ultimate's engine... And it's like, yeah, we're gonna bring a whole new thing to you guys. Wait, we already broke the last game. What? No. Like the community figured out Ultimate so much that that gameplay pretty much got, like you said, we already 
uh, there. And like you said, the grass did seem greener. I said this months ago. I said this months ago. Dragon Ball's tech is going to run dry. It's going to run super dry. It was going to yeah. run into the wall. I mean, it's not. It's not. It's not. I think it's that game. Like I said, like st how Street Fighter Five is not Street Fighter Four. Dragon Ball Z is not Marvel. There, 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 there was like a dummying down, and I'm not saying it's brain dead. It just appeals to a different market. It's a mass. It's Dragon Balls. It's a, it's supposed to yes. appeal to people who are not into fighting games. People who are into Dragon Balls, you know. Mm -hmm. So of course it's going to have more user friendly stuff. Same Street Fighter Five, I think, was the same direction. Even the new it. Smash was the same direction, where mm -hmm. it's more of bringing out the masses, right? It's like a mass appeal. Anyone could win. Comeback mechanics, all of that, right? So I don't know. I think it's just refreshing. Where you know, even more Marvel Infinite to a point is like that with the stones has all that comeback stuff built in, but yeah. Yeah. crazy dude like that's a yeah, lot. Of yeah. it, it, to me, I mean, this is a different topic, but to me, Infinite is one of the most is a brilliant take on the Marvel vs. Capcom engine. Like I don't know Thank how you. they fit in the six stones and the forward tagging, but it works. Like it works. It mm -hmm. Like yeah. yeah. So I, I don't know. I, I like I said. I think I think uh, I think just the I think just now that people have gotten past the surface of Dragon Balls. It's not like, oh, Marvel's better than Dragon Balls. It's that Marvel is satisfying the Marvel itch. And Dragon Balls satisfies a different itch, which I, wasn't that itch, you know? I agree with that. Mm -hmm. I agree. I, oh, sorry. Sorry. No, nothing really. Um, there is one thing I want to bring up before we forget, before we end this episode in a little bit. I, 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 can I can I bring up one more thing? Um, uh, are we going to talk about the Marvel patch? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah this is what I was going to bring up. <laughs> okay, cool, cool, cool. Have, okay, bas basically, we for some reason Marvel is still getting a patch on the stream version again. We don't know what these patches are for, but for some reason this is the, this is the next patch that they got for no apparent reason that began getting right there. We don't know why. They're still getting pats for some reason. I like that. Uh, we don't know it's, why. Um, it's the uh, rights. The, the, so you guys probably noticed you've been getting tons of emails saying our our privacy policy has changed from like everything you've ever signed up for in your, your life. Yeah. So so basically, it's the new thing that the EU has introduced. I forget what the acronym was, but yeah. I believe that update was related. Like that update for Marvel is related to that. Like it's just a a, pri a privacy update. So yeah. that's that, something to do with tags. That's what Zero Lex said. It had something to do with the tags on changing them tags. Although, again, Man, that's really wishful thinking. <laughs> Please, like, it sounds like he's just trying to say something with the gameplay changed. Yeah, yeah I mean, like, honestly, what Zero Lex kind of had a good point on Reddit, which he said a post of um, that even though the even development could have stopped in January, that there'd be oblig obligated obligated um up uploads or patches that would have to do from a uh, skeleton skeleton crew of devs so yeah. i mean i don't like you have three other uh coders talking about there's new builds and that these new builds have been sitting there and there's like they can't get into the build they can't look at the build they don't know anything about it but there's definitely like new builds that just been sitting there and the up the reason the patches are still like like the rest of the community, I'm on the same page. Why are you doing this if the game's dead, in your opinion? If you're not talking about the game, you're not doing anything, why are you spending money to download this or upload or what you're spending money, Capcom. We're not dumb. We're not stupid. We know what you're It might be this guy's in the office looking busy so the boss doesn't get rid of him. <laughs> that's, a, that's a reality, dude. <laughs> like if it's done and over with, there's no need to do anything else. A person on yeah. the Steam community discussion said, okay, look at SF Tekken. When's the last time has that seen a patch? Yeah. I, I think, uh, like, well, from my understanding, the patch was to eliminate the anti-piracy companion software that accompanied the PC version. So basically, when a game launches on PC, there's a third party called Denuvo that kind of encrypts the game so they can't be pirated. And what this does is that the, you don't buy Denuvo, you lease Denuvo. Because so. you only really need anti-piracy for the launch window. Because like 90% of the sales happen within like the first three months or something like that. So what it is is they yeah. rent, they rent, they lease this service. And when for so long, like six months or a year, however much they think the game's going to sell. And when that's over... 
the 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 third party software gets extracted and i think that's what this update was was extracting the the third party software out of the pc version which also causes you know updates to the other versions i guess so they all align on software you have a community so, divided on that de novo subject you have a community completely divided on it Yes, there are people out there that are saying, yes, Denuvo was a good thing to remove. It caused crashes or issues that were going on. But then you, you have the other side of the community saying, well, what's the point of the 10 gigs? And then you have people like, oh, 10 gigs is because of the Unreal Engine. Okay, but with that 10 gigs, there was information downloaded on the game that was not even necessary, and you still did it for the Denuvo patch. Yeah, and Everyone not only that, but... Yeah, sorry, I've, I've heard... Every, everyone's explaining that, okay, the Denuvo patch... Um, was uh necessary because it rooted to councils okay well if it rooted to councils why would the patch if the engine was all the same everybody runs on unreal ps4 has 495 megs as an upload one has 16 gigs and steam community has a mandatory 10. so people are literally yeah. divided on this whole denuvo subject on whether this is really capcom like trying to do remove it or are they like putting a veil yeah, who knows? I mean, uh, okay, I mean, Capcom's PR has kind of been shitty, so I wouldn't be surprised about anything they're doing wrong, mm -hmm. you know? But, I don't know. Um, it's going to be like, okay, guys. They're going to announce X-Men and Combo Breaker, and it's going to be just fire emoji. Don't worry. <laughs> Everyone, everyone, yeah. Everyone's going nuts. <laughs> I, I, I had heard that, that the latest patch is going to turn those eggs back into gems. Oh, yeah, the one I have right there by my desk. <laughs> I heard the latest like patch that. makes the game appear at Evo. I heard... <laughs> that was good, that was good. I heard the latest patch that will move out Waki Raccoon from the game. <laughs> Man! Okay, yep. If they were going to patch it, though, like, this is the same request I wanted for Marvel 3. I wanted in this game, too. Just give Nemesis flight. Please, just give Nemesis flight. <laughs> <laughs> And just have it be just the blocking animation. I say, oh. <laughs> oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. I say, I say, you know what? I just want offer to turn in the Dark Phoenix. <laughs> they, uh, oh. what, what? This? This is? I mean, this is like a real request. But how hard would it be to enable four-player mode in MVCI? That's up. Tekken had it. That's yeah, not hard with that. Not hard at all. It's not now. Yeah. And it's a party game. Damn it! I'm side smash after that. <laughs> sure. Uh, one day Marvel will announce. All right. So we removed the Denuvo, so you guys can do whatever you want with it. Oh, okay. We're gonna fucking steal Marvel three characters and port them on there. We got enough modders to do it. Yeah. Yeah. It's a uh, a part of me like uh, when I saw the uh, Denuvo. When I see, it, there's definitely um, room for debate about the different gig sizes and all of that. But there's also a part of me that's just dead to rumors now, especially regarding this game. Like, uh, I got to see it now because I've been, I've been, my chain has been pulled so much with this game w from it being at there Evo. Was mass, to there all was the Mass Burger leak. There was the Denver leak. There was the uh -huh. X, uh, what was it? X Cura leak. Uh, there was a whole bunch of leaks. And at this By point, the way, then, yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> You're just like, wow. Yeah, and, and next month, next month, Professor Xavier's in the game. Yeah, oh, yeah, we believe you. Yeah, and then it's like, oh yeah, this dead, this game's dead, and then there's like, oh, there's an update, and then everyone just loses their shit. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> that was a definitely. Uh, <laughs> we don't even know what the update is. Let's so we'll just lose our shit now. May fifteenth, oh, fuck with the fighting game community. Update Marvel. There you go. <laughs> okay. What? There's an update. I lost my mind. I thought people were playing on Twitter when when um, somebody said there was an update, and then I went to Max's channel. He's like, yeah, there's an update. And so I turned on my PS, and there's an update, and I was like... Here comes Star-Lord. <laughs> 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 Let me ask, honestly, since I have a room full of pro players, who yeah. the fuck is looking forward to Star-Lord? I mean... Mm. Yeah, I get, I mean... <laughs> It might be cool though. Like he'd have like kind of the rocket boot stuff and the twin pistols. Like I think he could be fun. He mm -hmm. would definitely. He would definitely. He would definitely fit into the roster as far as the people that they're picking. About mm -hmm. excited to play him. I don't know. Well, also have the perks and rec alt. 
where he's yeah. overweight and stuff. Like that'd be great. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yo, give me the red jacket. I'm good. We'll, we'll just play him with Dante, and we'll call him Team Red Jackets. <laughs> yeah, really. yeah, just just give him and Nemesis flight, and we're good. <laughs> oh, they'll like take Peter from Street Fighter Five Story Mode. That's the next DLC character. <laughs> oh yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> if they would have ever made Ant Ant Man a playable character, it would have just felt like a rip off of the Adam from Injustice. Yeah, Injustice too. Why Plus, do I don't want to hear. I don't want to hear about any hitboxes smaller than raccoons. Straight up, man. Yeah. A dot. <laughs> That's the hitbox. A dot. No, oh, forget all that. Okay. That's already oh, raccoons' oh, hitbox. Yeah. Okay, so guys, I think my, this is probably be a good point to end the episode right here. Don't you agree? Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. Well. Thank you all, all for watching for this episode of Team Area Combos. I am flying high. I'm Shaco Man. I'm Don Kind. And uh, I'm a war destroyer. <laughs> I'm a guy. You're a guy. Not to me, man. <laughs> yep. yeah. Hands in the middle. Team on three. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Two. One, two. Wait. <laughs> hey, thank you guys for watching. Have a nice night. Peace Bye, out. Nice. See you guys. Later. Smaller, baby. <laughs> Marble lips? <laughs> mm hmm. <laughs>